Well, I was all set tonight to start putting in the uh, neck block and the heel block, which I have here. This is the neck block. I got them uh, pre-made or pre-cut from Stuart McDonald. This is fine. That would fit up there. However, the heel block that I've got is too small. Um, this is actually for a, like a triple O style guitar and I've got a dreadnought. This is only four inches long and I need something closer to five to the finish size here at four and seven eighths. So I'm waiting for parts to arrive. In the meantime, what I'm doing, I'll show you. Alright, so in the meantime what I'm doing, uh, eventually we're going to have to make braces. So I thought what I'd do is I would um, trace pattern the braces bought some bought some tracing paper at the local art supply shop just then I made some room put the plans down and use some draftsman's tape to put the uh, tracing paper right on top of the brace pattern and what helped me draw them I've got a 28 foot radius in a 15 foot radius that came with those radius dishes, the sanding dishes. And this is so you can you can trace the same radius and make like sanding blocks, which I'm eventually going to make also, so that we can sand the braces. But this helped me in these patterns here, because the back, as we know, is a 15 foot radius. So when I line it up with the brace pattern, the profile of the brace, it, it's perfect on the bottom. So I use that to help me draw the bottoms. The, the tops have a slight curve to them. They were about 28, so actually I used a 28 foot. And then I just freehanded the sides here. And what I'll do is cut these out um, with scissors and then use some uh, 77 adhesive and stick them to a piece of um, MDF. I think I've got it over here. Hang on. Yeah, like I've got some really thin MDF and stick them with the abrasive or the adhesive and then I'll cut them out and I'll use it. That'll be my pattern. So the next thing I was going to do, there's the uh, tone bars. Let's see what it is. Tone bars on this part of the pattern. I'm just going to trace those out, cut those out. So that's really all I'm doing right now. Uh, this is interesting too, just to show you that they have these marked as T1. There's two T1s, which are basically the X braces. And then they have the tone bars, they call these the tone bars, T2, T3. And it shows them on the plans where we're going to put these. But T references top. B references bottom. The bottom's a 15 foot radius. And if I look at these X braces, they match up with my 28 foot pattern. So it makes it really easy to draw at the bottom here. I got them all traced out, and I was going to very carefully with the scissors start in each and every line or cutting out along each and every line and I figured no nah, you don't have to do that all I have, I'm just going to trim this make it a little smaller stick the whole thing uh, right to this and then just cut this out with my um, either the band saw or the scroll saw and then uh, I'll be close to the lines I won't take it right down the line I'll finish it up on, uh, on a sander that I've got Super 77 adhesive, hit the board, and stuck them there. So I'll just let that dry and I'll cut that out, maybe tomorrow. Got 
got to say welcome to the newest member of the shop here. Ho oh, ho. It's going to make sanding that top and back a lot easier. I haven't even used it yet. I just uh, set it up tonight and made sure everything was as it's supposed to be according to the book. And um, when we do the, the spruce top, it's quite thick right now. It'll help bring it down, especially when we put the rosette on. And it'll help me get that back down as well.